Today, I'm going to interview Dr. William Walsh, the author of the Neutron Power and also founder of Walsh Research Institute. Dr. Walsh has been training psychiatrists like myself to utilize his methodology to help people with mental illness using nutrients in addition to medication. It has been part of our integrative mental health program and we have had incredible success with his protocol and his series. Hi, Dr. Walsh. So thank you so much for, um, for doing this interview with me. And um, I hope it will benefit uh, my audience in both uh, Chinese community and also my patients here in the United States. Um, I would like to start asking you to really introduce yourself and your journey and to develop this wonderful, what I call WASH protocol for mental health? Well, it all started by accident. Uh, I'd like to be able to say that I had planned all of this, uh, but no, the truth is it was all accidental. I began, um, I got very interested in, in university in nuclear science, and I got involved in nuclear physics and, and nuclear engineering. My, my PhD was in chemical engineering, but I've never been a chemical engineer. And I worked for places like Los Alamos, the Institute for Atomic Research. I got involved in, in places like Oak Ridge and others. And I, and I was in love with, with the physics of, of, uh, of nuclear physics. And, um, but eventually, I, I came to believe that that wasn't necessarily the best thing for society. And uh, I got interested in, in, you might say, more um, environmental kinds of things. And I got uh, involved in... Um, at Argonne National Laboratory, as a young scientist, I got really interested in doing a bit of nuclear chemistry, trying to find out ways to safely uh, get um, plutonium and uranium out of fuel elements safely. And I decided that wasn't going to work out too well for society long range, because there's going to be still problems a thousand years from now. So I got involved with uh, energy, and I uh, became head of a fairly large group, electrochemistry, and uh, within a year, I got lucky and I invented uh, a lithium battery. And it was, uh, I got the patent for it. And it was a very early lithium battery. And I got a national award for it. And I got invited to give lectures around the world on that. So electrochemistry for me for about 10 years was what I was doing. But along the way, I got interested in um, social things. And a lot of my friends were uh, volunteering and getting involved with um, helping other countries. And I got interested in, in crime and violence. And in our, in our neighborhood, one of, my, one of our neighbors was thoughtlessly just shot and killed just driving down the street of Joliet, Illinois. And um, I decided to see if there was anything I could do to possibly make some, you know, some contribution to that. So eventually, within a year, I became, uh, I, I was at a place called Stateville Correctional Center, one of America's toughest prisons. I started with a chess match. I was chairman, uh, head of the Argonne chess team that had just won the uh, Midwest Championship. And uh, we, we heard they had a good team at the prison. So I organized a, a, a meeting, a, a game between PhD scientists and a bunch of criminals out of 4,000 people there. And uh, the, the man I played had just gotten off death row. We spent a lot of time and uh, that led one thing led to another. And, uh, within a couple of years, I was the head of a organization called Prisoner Assistance Program. I got uh, an award from the, from the uh, United Way of uh, Chicago as the Prison Volunteer of the Year for Metropolitan Chicago. And I was really engrossed in, try in trying to help these people. But my education started when I, st when I started an ex-offender program, trying to help people when I got out of prison. What I found was a lot of the parents were saying that their other children were fine, but this children, this one child was different from the day he was born. Oppositional, defiant, harming their pets. Um, and and they, they convinced me that they, there was something wrong in the beginning, that it wasn't just the environment and trauma. And so I, uh, that's how it all started by accident. I, I I started while I was at a scientific uh, organization with world-class uh, chemists, and um, eventually I had 125 people in my group 
doing either scientific studies or just visiting criminals, trying to help them and try to help them inter interact in society. And that's how it started. Um, while after the first year, I had a lot of data that didn't make any sense. It was like taking a shotgun in the wall and you see all the meaningless data. Um, and I just happened to attend a talk by, the doctor, by Dr. Carl Pfeiffer, who at that time, that time was the uh, considered the world's leading nutri nutritional scientist. And he had just been nominated for a Nobel Prize uh, for his work in schizophrenia. And I got to meet the man and uh, he thought what I was doing was interesting and important. And he gave me some suggestions, which I followed. He said that when, when he started his work, he got his best results looking at metal metabolism, things like copper and zinc, and manganese and toxic metals. And so that just got me started. And uh, within a few years, I decided this is more important than my scientific research. I gave uh, a couple months notice and started um, um, a scientific uh, organization, a public charity. So we're doing this and it's now 25 years later. And, um, uh, you know, that's how it all, but that's how it all started. And we began working with behavior disordered children and adults, very violent people leaving prison, but also young children with extraordinary problems. And uh, we found out something that was disappointing and something that was really exciting. The disappointing thing was, yes, the, the criminals we, treat, we tested and treated, and there were many of them, more than 800 felons, um, including many um, convicted murderers and sociopaths. And I, we learned a lot about their chemistry, but we found that the treatment programs we gave them seemed to be very successful for maybe six months or a year. But then five years later, we found out they were all back in prison, almost all of them, and very disappointing. And, and, and we, we found out it has a lot to do with if they are already involved with drugs and alcohol. And also they had a self-image of being criminals and hurting people. Um, but the, that was the bad news. We we've, we've still have never learned how to take these violent people and turn them into pussycats. But, what we, but the good news was that the children, violent children with the same chemistry headed for prison, they did really well. They did really well. We had to get them early enough. And, and so then we uh, eventually, I started the clinic. It eventually had about uh, 50 employees. And we were one of the largest clinics in the world for a while for nutritional work, the number of doctors, nurses and all. And uh, we, we expanded into schizophrenia, depression, anxiety, and then more recently autism and um, Alzheimer's. So that, that's just a summary of what, it, what happened. Uh, I, we started a, uh, was requested by a couple of countries, namely uh, Norway and, and uh, Australia uh, that wanted to learn our protocols for normalizing chemistry. And, um, and, and, and so that started a training program. And uh, my original goal was to teach these protocols, the way to use nutrient therapy really is sort of, I think of it as nu nutritional psychiatry, where we've learned that nu nutrition, nutrients can actually adjust neurotransmission and, and directly affect and improve brain function. And uh, so now my go original goal was to get this information to a thousand doctors throughout the world. We've just achieved that goal and it's getting faster and actually expanding. So we now have about well, more than a thousand talented doctors like you uh, around the world who are helping patients using these techniques that, that, that work, work together with uh, medications and work together with counseling. They're in harmony with those, but they, uh, but they, they can, um, greatly reduce the need for medication and of course side effects. And the most important thing is for them to have a better quality of life. So I think that's the summary of it all.